afternoon folks Joe Baker with Trade Pilot Pro doing your daily market recap as well as tomorrow's S&P levels for trading well what do we do today um, I would say nothing but a whole bunch of nothing um, as we see our auto fork is still in the downtrend on this 240 minute chart uh, we are climbing back up here on the RSI. We're getting up towards that 50 level. Uh, we're at 45.69. Again, a break above the 50 level would uh, probably bring this market upward. So that's what we'd be looking at. For those of you that want to just take a basic indicator, uh, put your RSI on, go above 50, below 50 on these longer term charts. They are okay. I don't necessarily use that on my own studies, but it's 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 an okay rule of thumb you can see a break above here and the market went up um, a break below it came down a break above it went up a break below it comes down so forth and so on you can see this break however this market you know tore down before this thing broke the 50 so you can see where the RSI can in, can kind of fake you out um, again it did get up around the 66 area this is where I kind of warned you that we had topped out a few times up in here and now we're just kind of bottoming out we had our triple moving average move up um, albeit we do have a little bit of positive divergence here and uh, let me just show you this if I can do this quickly here's a trend line here and there we go if you can see this okay we have equal price action and we have a little bit of positive divergence here in our triple moving average so um, but ultimately we did move up today too so Again, we are in a trading range. This is the same chart I've used, I think, for three days in a row now. So um, it's like wearing a pair of old socks. I mean, there's nothing exciting about it, okay? Um, nothing going on in this market. We do need to take out the 63.50 to get down to this 12.50 area, okay? You know, nothing really going on there. I mean, it's not a big, you know, huge move but we do need to take it out and you see all the areas of resistance that we've had at this area um, it's no wonder why traders are buying this level and then bringing it up to back up to the 74 so you know we could continue to con yeah let me see if I can get to say continue to consolidate um, you know for a few more days here uh, keep in mind as we move across okay and if we keep up at this higher price action this fork will move okay and pitch at a different angle Right now, it's at a fairly steep angle to the downside, and that's due to this uh, market action over this last couple of days. So anyway, nothing really exciting to tell you. Um, other than that, we're in a trading range, which I think we all know. We know the levels. If you don't, go back over the last two weeks of my videos. They're all right there. They've been there. And here are the trading ranges right in here. Um, 63, 75 area, back up to the 84 area, and then up to the... 96 area and then up to the 1300 so uh, let's get over to tomorrow's levels maybe we could uh, get a breakout or two okay here we are my line in the sand for tomorrow is 1272.50 and above that I'm looking for 1274.50 again as a pivot as we know this has been a big area this 1274.1275 as I mentioned every evening um, 1276.75 for the breakout. We have 1281 and a quarter, 1281 and a half. Then we have 1285, 1287 and a quarter for our target. Now again, underneath the 1272.50, I'm looking for lower levels. I'm looking for 68.50. I'm looking for a breakdown at 66 and a quarter. Again, that 63 level. 60.50 and again 55.75 for our ultimate target for tomorrow. Uh, I hope this helps and remember our trading room is over at tradingrooms.com under the premium section of Trade Pilot Pro and if you'd like to receive these levels by email just skip on over to the blog put your name in the white knockout area on the upper right hand corner of the screen where it says sign up for our nightly newsletter. Thank you very much, folks, and I will see you again tomorrow.